Yes, it certainly hurts when buds burst. Why else would the spring hesitate? Why would all our burning yearning be tied in the frozen bitter pale? The shell was the bud all winter, but well, this is new that frets and blasts. Yes, it certainly hurts when buds burst. It hurts for what grows, and it hurts for what closes. Yes, it is surely hard when drops fall. Shivering of anxiety, heavy they hang. Clinging, the twig swells and glides. Weight pulls them down, how they climb. It's hard to be uncertain, scared and divided. It's hard to feel the depth draw and call still stay behind only trembling it's hard to want to stay and want to fall then when it is as its worst and nothing helps the tree buds burst as in jubileans then when fear no longer holds back Falls a glitter that drops from the wig, forgetting the fear for the new, forgetting the anxiety for the journey, feels for a second the greatest safeness, resting in the trust that creates the world. Hi, Ofi here. This is a little bit different for me and I hope you will enjoy it. I wanted to do a little bit of like a calm vlogging thing from this week and um, some books that I picked up and some books I wanted to talk about. But it is a little bit different but I still hope you will enjoy it. Thank you! happy monday i got my tea i got some candles this is a new candle i got today and it's mango and pineapple and it smells so good so good and i just wanted to show you a few books i got this weekend that i'm really excited about the first two books i got is from my best friend gina and she gave me two Korean manvas and these were for my birthday and they are called Bride of the Water God this is the first and the second I have loved this series for so long it's like one of my favorite series I read in high school and I loved it a lot. I always wanted to have it, but I never bought it for myself because I always bought other stuff at that time. And now they are out of print in English and they are super, super hard to get your hands on. And if you do get your hands on them, they will be roughly 80 or $250 each. And I don't feel super 
compelled to buying them when they are that high of a price but I do love the art style and for me it's very nostalgic reading them Gina did not go out and pay <laughs> that much money which I'm very very thankful for but she actually bought these two in high school because she was the smart one of us and she felt bad because she know how much I love them so she actually gave me her copies and I feel like that's a lot more meaningful than anything else and it makes me so 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 happy and roughly they are about this girl she is on earth and she's getting sacrificed to the water god by the humans in her village which is this guy uh, to give them rain on earth because they haven't had rain in so long because the water god is very upset with them so they think that if they sacrifice this pretty pretty virgin uh, they will have rain but he does not like sacrifices and it doesn't go as they want but she obviously wants what's best for the humans and she's trying to make him understand that they need water and there's obviously a romance between them and it's a little bit a little bit uh, squeezy like very sweet love and it's very a little bit cringe at times and it's very like you can see the ending coming and you know what's going to happen but I really really love this in high school so it's more for the nostalgia more than anything else and I do love Korean manvas because I do love the art style of the Korean Korean manvas a lot so I'm really really excited for these so I will be rereading this for December because I haven't read them in a long time and then maybe I will buy even further now that I have the two first in the series I was also gifted a package from one of my mods Clippy he sent me a care package with a lot of candy cookies and stuff from Australia but he also added a book to it which I am super 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 grateful for it's it's an Egyptian book and I don't know much about it I love historical fiction so I'm super super excited in reading this I will most likely not get to it until maybe next year because I, I I have so many plans for this year so it's not on the the table to read it this year so I, I will be reading it sometime next year I it also has an inscription to Ulfi enjoy and it makes me so happy wait I have a little cat here you want to say hi no what that's a big tail okay <laughs> Uh, he wants to be on the camera so I'm, I'm really really excited for this book too I, I, I love everything Egyptian as well uh, which apparently this author also do so I'm really really looking forward to it it got a little bit damaged in the package but that's what happens to kitty what is it honey what can mommy not talk without you being a little bitch about it? Okay. <laughs> so I'm really, really looking forward to this too. I am currently on a book ban. Not because I can't spend more money, because I don't really spend that much money when I buy my books. I usually borrow most of my books uh, on the library where I work. But I am on a book ban because... I've been buying a lot of books this year and last year that I haven't gotten around to actually read uh, because I'm borrowing more and more books from the library so I read the library books but not the books I bought for myself which is bad obviously so at this moment I'm on a do not buy more books until you finish the books you have or at least start finishing the books that you have and I also told myself not to borrow more books from the library because I don't need more books. I have enough books at home. 
So that did not go very well because today when I was at work I obviously borrowed a new book uh, which is a Swedish classic about a Viking tale. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I borrowed it either because it's a very very thick book, like super thick and I will not have time to read it this year. So I don't know what if I borrowed it in preparations for next year, but it feels a bit dumb to borrow a book that you know you won't be able to read in a month or two because maybe someone else wants it, so I might just return it tomorrow and be like, I don't know, I was delusional in my thinking of <laughs> what to read I decided to do a face mask this is a sheet mask it's a Christmas one and I am nuts about you I thought that was a little cute with a nutcracker and I thought it was kinda good for, you know, no nut November, it's kinda funny, clever, so I'll do this sheet mask for tonight, yeah, and then continue reading on my, where I am on Les Miserables, and just to update you guys where I am, I just started the volume 3 about Marius, I am hoping to finish volume three and four this week but I will keep reading and I will update you further on how it's going but as I've told you all so far I'm loving this book so much oh my god but let's do some self-care and read I read and I got pretty far actually, I forgot to show you how far I got, but I finished the third and the fourth part of this and I'm on the last part. I think I roughly have a hundred more pages to go in the book, so I did read quite a bit this, this week and I'm really really happy about that. I really wanted to finish it, but I did not have time to finish it. I mostly also because this weekend i decided to make it a little bit fancy with this this um pine tree and i wanted to get christmas into the house so i will show you a little bit of my christmas decorations and some baking i did this weekend so i didn't do much reading this weekend unfortunately Here you will see Titus trying to butcher my things, uh, he's kind of cute, but I still want to talk a little bit about Les Miserables, I really really truly love it so far, there's a lot of information and a lot of names and a lot of descriptions, but I love descriptions, so for me Les Miserables is amazing, but what bothers me is I'm still having the mentality that I need to read fast, and it bothers me that I'm still telling myself that I've been reading this book for three weeks now and I'm still not finished with it. I need to calm down and tell myself that it's okay to take time reading books and enjoying the books because I am enjoying it and I'm having the time of my life because it's both funny, informative and just 
so well written so it's fine it's fine and i don't have to rush it Hi, voiceover Ophi here. I just wanted to show you some new books I got this week as well. And I'm planning on reading this before Christmas and they are all a little bit Christmas themed. This is a Japanese snow Christmas classic. I don't know much about it so I can't really say anything. This is Ethan Frome, uh, also a Christmas classic. Uh, very thin, not very much pages on it. I was a little bit upset when I got this because I did not order this uh, front page, but it's fine. It looks okay. And I also got uh, two books in a middle grade series. These are based off of Agatha Christie. And it's about Agatha Christie when she was a middle grader and uh, her best friend who is based off of oh kitty um her best friend who is based off of uh, hercules uh poirot of course and they have a dog and i thought it was a little cute you know mystery queen because it's agatha christie and they are what i can know they are only translated like they're only in english so far but i hope they will translate them for swedish because i think my students would love these and i'm going to read them for my christmas right kitty yes yes mm. kuru kuru kuru. <laughs> 